Welcome to the Hobby Farm Guys channel. I'm Steve and today I'll be spotlighting a beautiful but surprisingly uncommon productive dual purpose breed duck. Stay tuned to learn all about the magpie duck. It's going to be spectacular. While magpie ducks may not rank high on the most popular duck breed to own list, they do sit high on the most productive duck to own list. Known for being decent meat birds and prolific layers of quality eggs, magpie ducks also check the boxes as friendly pets and eye candy for the pond. Magpie ducks appeared in the early 20th century, more precisely in the 1920s. The creation of this breed is credited to two Welshmen, Reverend M.C. Gower McWilliams of Wales and Oliver Drake of Yorkshire. The ancestry of the breed isn't known, but it's speculated that Indian runner ducks and old Belgian duck breed, the Huttigen, played a significant role in the development of the magpie duck due to the upright stance evident in this breed. First documented in 1920, a breeder's club was formed in 1926. A Michigan farmer, Isaac Hunter, brought the first magpie ducks to America in 1963, where by 1977 they were admitted to the American Poultry Association. Named for its distinctive black and white plumage, reminiscent of the coloration of the European magpie, the typical example of this breed is white with black colored patches. Areas that are colored include the cap, back, shoulders, wing coverts, and mane tail. When viewed from above, the coloring can resemble a heart shape on the duck. While the pattern remains, the color of the patches may vary. Color variations available include black, blue, dun, and an incredibly rare chocolate variety. Black and blue are the only two color varieties recognized by the American Poultry Association. The magpie is a long-bodied bird, somewhat upright in the carriage, with a broad head, rounded chest, and moderately long neck. The body carriage is about 15 to 30 degrees horizontal when lounging in a relaxed position, similar to a khaki campbell. When startled, a magpie often stands far more erect and can look more like an Indian runner. Bills are yellow to orange in young birds and often turn a greenish color as the bird ages. Eyes are gray to dark brown and legs and feet are orange but can develop mottling or stippling that's greenish black in shade. As the magpie ducks age, they progressively get wider in the areas that were originally colored. This predominantly occurs in the females. Some ducks, by the time they are between six to 10 years old, can become completely white. Another interesting factoid about magpie ducks, whereas many birds tend to change substantially when going from downy babies to fluffy feathered adults, that isn't the case with magpies. The pattern you see on the down when they hatch is the pattern in which they'll feather out. The coloration patterns remain the exact same from hatch to adulthood. Considered a light breed, magpie ducks weigh on average from three to seven pounds, with the males falling on the heavier end of the range. The drakes typically weigh five and a half to seven pounds, while the ducks weigh four and a half to six pounds. They have a lifespan of about eight to 12 years. Although a light class breed, magpies are still considered a dual purpose breed. Magpie duck meat has excellent flavor and texture and is regarded to be of gourmet quality. An average mature magpie duck can feed two adults. And magpie duck hens won't start laying until 25 to 30 weeks of age, but they're then capable of laying between 220 to 300 large eggs each year. Magpie eggs come in white, cream, and shades of green and blue. Laying ability and egg size are strongly influenced by the father, and it's therefore prudent to choose the breeding drakes from high producing families. Speaking of magpie drakes, they rank very high in the, um, shall we say, amorous vigor department. As such, it's recommended to keep at least five females for every drake to avoid problems. Magpie duck eggs hatch after only 18 days, a full week quicker than many other duck breeds. While magpies make good mothers, magpie ducklings tend to imprint more deeply on their human keepers than baby ducks of other breeds, and the breed is sometimes referred to as needy. So if you want a lap duck to follow you around, look into magpies. Often considered docile and calm, they can be high strung and panicky when startled like Indian runners they resemble. Not great flyers, they aren't capable of sustained flight, but they can do a flap jump, you know, and clear a two to three foot fence if frightened. Good foragers, magpies are a robust and hardy duck breed as long as they're given the proper living conditions that every duck needs to thrive. They're often reused for pest management due to their strong inclination for foraging yet not being too heavy so as to compact the dirt or damage the plants. That's the magpie, a fairly uncommon yet productive dual purpose duck breed. Do you raise magpie ducks? Are you considering them? 
Is there another duck you breed you'd like us to spotlight? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking the video, and thanks for subscribing to the channel. Until next time, keep on hobby farming. Bye, everybody.